Hey guys, Jason Amaro. Well, I want to talk a little bit about finding coos deer, hunting coos deer, scouting for coos deer. Uh, I used to work with this old dude uh, when I was guiding fishermen, and he used to say, well, you just find them and kill them. Well, okay, find them and kill them, right? Uh, sounds pretty easy, but, it, but it's not really that easy. I think the key to remember more than anything with coos deer is that if you find some, stay on them. Stay on them, stay on them, stay on them. If it doesn't matter if it's does or bucks. Uh, coos deer are in pockets. They're in these little pockets. So if you find them, stay on them, they're not gonna move far. They say the average kind of uh, home range of a coos deer buck uh, is anywhere from two miles down. So if you find them, stay on them. The other thing is they always need food, water, shelter. Uh, food, coos deer are browsers, right? They love those edges where they can get acorns, eat a little bit of mountain mahogany, kind of graze their way along, a little bit of grass. They're not like an elk where they absolutely just need to put their head down and graze. They're, they're, uh, they're browsers. They're just gonna pick a little bit, look for acorns. They always love acorns. Again, look for diversity, look for lines. Think bass fishing where you're always hunting structure or lines and structure. The other thing is water. They need water, right? Um, this year we've had some crazy monsoons, so there's water everywhere, but they will, they will uh, pretty frequently hit a tank. So if you find a tank or a spring or something where you know coos deer are hitting, it may be worth it. Uh, one of the biggest uh, deer I ever killed is actually over a water hole. And the last thing is uh, shelter. Shelter, shelter, shelter. They're going to need places where they can hide, where they can get away, escape routes. So along those lines, I like to hunt these long ridges, right? So one of the ridges, sides of the ridges is relatively open. You pop over to the other side, it's super thick, super thick. Those deer also move on those ridges to cover country. So they're on top of the ridges. Uh, and another thing is if you're hanging up trail camps and you're picking up uh, predators on those ridges, stay there. Absolutely stay there. Those predators, they know how the coos deer move and they're going to run in those same paths over and over and over again. Uh, I hunt the thick pines in the high country, so my hunting's a little bit different. You know, my longest shot archery is probably, I don't know, 50 yards with a muzzle loader, maybe 150. So I'm hunting real close high country country uh, you can hunt from a ground blind uh, you can hunt from a tree stand remember in New Mexico we can't really alter our environment to hunt uh, so be be aware of that uh, again get out there guys hunt hard we'll talk to you soon